Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It is the 2025 BMW i4 xDrive 40 in Alpine White. All right, so this is the 2025 BMW i5 xDrive 40. So just hit unlock. We got the kidney grill lighting up. We got the headlights on. There's the pathway lighting so you can see what the low beams look like. So in the Canadian market in 2024, the new 5 Series came out, G60 body style. And it came out as a 530i and an i5 M60. So we don't have the 540i and I thought that it was going to come. But in 2025, we got the i5 xDrive 40. So it's the dual motor all wheel drive 40 version of this vehicle. Um, we don't have a gas equivalent, um, but I think there's also plans in Canada for the i5, or sorry, the 550e to come out, which is the plug-in hybrid. So we're gonna talk about this one. i50, or sorry, 550e would be six cylinder hybrid. So let's look at all the details of this one. So we got the classic Alpine white on the i5 here in the showroom. We've got four lines, one here. There's two really faint ones in the middle. And then one more on the other side here that lead down into this rondo with the blue accent. And then into the one piece brushed aluminum kidney grill. So we do have the vertical slats, eye badging here. And if I go ahead and press unlock, we'll get that kidney grill to light up once again. Headlights have a welcoming animation. And in Canada, you can only get the G65 series as an M Sport model. So there's no non-M Sport version of this car in this market. But overall, front bumper design looks really good. I also like the vertical kidney grill design here as well. So when we come around to the side, you can see here, we've got those new 5 Series headlights. And uh, I'm sure maybe by now, a lot of you have already seen the reveal of the G90 M5, which also looks pretty crazy. I love how they did the rear quarters. But anyway, we got blue accents in here. And we've got that cool new double chevron design. And they are raked down on the 5 Series to give it that kind of aggressive look. We have these new... 19 inch double spoke 936 M wheels in um, uh, midnight gray, I believe. Got that blue accent on the rondel in the center. Blue M Sport brake is behind there as well. And I'm gonna come around. Nice side profile, body line running from front fender all the way through, even through the uh, charge port door. And we've got that cutting body line that comes up towards the back door. Got the five there emblazoned on the Hoffmeister kink. Black roof. Uh, it's actually not black, it's panoramic glass, but it's not an opening roof, it's just a glass roof. New style antenna, body colored uh, spoiler on the trunk lid, and I guess it sh saw my shadow and it opened up, so I was gonna kick my foot under there, but before I go take a look inside here, we have the vertical reflectors on the side, big diffuser, flat underbody for aerodynamics. So that all looks really cool. And inside of here, grocery bag hangers on each side, big ones. And we've got the release levers here to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. Very deep trunk here. Got a little space here for um, tool kit, tire and flittering kit. Another little space down here on this side with the glow in the dark handle. And if I lift this up, a bit more space down here. We've got some charging cables that looks like our flex charger level one, level two. There's a button here to close, another one to close and lock in one step. But I'll kick my foot under the car so we can get this to close the hands free way. And while we're back here, let me just hit the unlock button so we can get those tail lights on as well. So dual L-shaped tail lights. It's a very mild L. <laughs> On the passenger side, we've got the charge port door. 
which is uh, connected to the central locking system. We can accept level one, level two, or level three DC fast charge. Little button to unlock the charging cable and a little index here to tell us what the, all the different lights mean. So let me go ahead and open up that back door next. So in here, we have Bowers and Wilkins sound system. We have uh, black Viganza interior inside. Door pocket down here with some ambient lighting. There's the back seating area. Let me just undo some of these seat belts here. We have an armrest in the center. Up top is where you find the release lever for the center pass-through, just like so. Up top, they've got some handles, coat hangers on each side, microphones, uh, reading lights. And then in the back of the center console, we've got some vents, two USB Type-C charging ports, huge storage area there. And we also have some vents down here underneath the rear passenger's feet. So let's go ahead and open that front passenger door next. If we open up the front passenger door first, just wanted to show you that welcome light carpet down here, which is pretty interesting. Comfort access on the front door handles. So when I open that door up, so inside we can see more of that lovely uh, Bowers and Wilkins. We've got the light interaction bar in here, which just turned flamingo. And we have pockets, ambient light going through. And we've got some interesting pattern here on the dash, more of that crisscross pattern that we saw kind of like the welcome light carpet. And we've got the black Viganza interior, full power seat with lumbar, vent controls like the 7 series, right? This is where uh, open or close, and then down here is direct where you want the air to go. Little button there to open the glove box, which is illuminated. We have iDrive 8.5. Down here you've got the wireless charger with the little vent to cool your phone. We have USB Type-C and cup holders here. We have the glass uh, shift, or sorry, glass iDrive controller I saw in the M5. It says M5 in it, which is, or an M symbol in it, which is pretty cool. And down here, let's press this. So we do have 12 volt plug inside of here. Let's go open the door on the driver's side next. All right, so let's open the door from the driver's side. So inside of here, Bowers and Wilkins, Flamingo interior lighting, memory one, two, seating menu. We have lock, unlock, window controls, tailgate, full power seat with lumbar here as well. Now, Headrest is manually adjusted. Under the thigh extension is manually adjusted. And then over here, we've got your exterior lighting controls. So on, auto, off, or exterior lighting menu. And we've got full power for the steering wheel adjustment. Now that I'm inside, there's that flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, no marker at 12 o'clock, just a stitching area. But we're at 87% charge, 381 or 391 kilometers. So I think at 100%, you'd be at like 420 or something like that. And uh, just wanted to quickly take a look. So got all that stuff on. Automatic high beams is wonderful. We have uh, 360 cam, so there's a quick peek into our showroom. And if I actually, um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's get back into okay so if I click on more 3d view so there is a 3d view all the way around the car in our showroom you can also do this through the my BMW app we have automatic parking in here which is pretty cool and in terms of driving we have just regular uh, cruise control Safety, we've got forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning, with steering intervention, blind spot with steering intervention, and vibration if you turn into it. Exit warning to alert you to not open your door on somebody, fatigue alert, speed warning. We also have the garage door opener buttons here, otherwise known as universal garage door opener, or uh, some people will also call this the um, home link. And then here, we have the sunroof shade, 
uh, scrolling to the front and just wanted to give you guys a view of that nice glass roof I know a lot of you are thinking well, why does it open well for the longest time concept cars were showing off a full glass roof and people were delighted to see it but now that we made it people are upset <laughs> And one last thing I wanted to do in here, I'm gonna just hit my modes. Let's get sport on. So the seat just tightened, we got red, and there is the color coming through here. I love how that looks. So let me just exit the vehicle. And just down here, it's hidden, but right here, one, two, it's your hood release. So we'll come around to the front. That has already alleviated us from having to find anything. So I just lift it up. Massive plastic engine cover, but we do have a positive battery terminal here and a negative battery terminal down here for your 12 volt uh, system. We have washer fluid over here. And this is an X-Drive, so it is dual motor. And this produces 389 horsepower, 435 foot pounds of torque. So it's a beast. And as, as you know, being an EV, it has that instant electric torque, which is pretty awesome. All right, so before we conclude the video, I'm just gonna do one lap all the way around the car. So there it is, kidney grill illuminating with that iconic glow. We've got the headlights on here as well. And I just want to get a couple of uh, longer range shots. You can kind of really get a good look at this car. It looks really nice. Now that welcome light carpet just looks awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new i5 X Drive 40. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2025 BMW i5 X Drive 40 in Alpine white with the black interior. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, I think this is a classic spec, and uh, if you think that the i5 M60 is overkill, which it is, uh, this is a great alternative uh, if you're looking for a five series EV, and uh, good power, good range, and uh, overall, uh, really nice to drive so let me know what you think if you like the car if you like the video if you like me Make sure you like share and subscribe. I'll put that pricing information in the description below once it becomes available to me and uh, Yeah, follow me on Instagram. It's at Alan BMW Durham. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching